In this next section, we'll take a look at self-description using XML. This functionality is defined in the interoperability section of the DNP3 specification. Topics covered in this section include what is a DNP3 XML device profile, features of the DNP3 XML device profile, use cases, mapping DNP3 to IEC 61850 object models, and the use in the IEC 61850 engineering process. First, we'll look at what is a DNP3 XML device profile and some of its features. The XML device profile document is organized into four sections, configuration, points list, implementation table, and mapping to IEC 61850. The configuration section has four columns. The current value and configurable methods are not shown in this picture. Protocol capabilities indicates the options supported. The current value indicates which option is active. The next section, Points List, describes the scaling in units and provides for a text description of the point. The implementation table describes which data types, function codes, and qualifier codes are supported. An IEC 61850 object model can be represented in the DNP3 XML device profile document by assigning each IEC 61850 data attribute to a configuration parameter, data point, or constant in the DNP3 XML file. An optional user data element is included in all main data structures defined in the DNP3 schema to allow user-specific data to be incorporated at various places within a DNP3 XML instance document. Note that no outstation code changes are required to support the new DNP3 device profile in XML. The XML file is just a new file that's supplied on disk or by a web download. This format file can be applied to existing devices that were placed in operation years ago. It does not interfere with real-time communications and is good for small DNP implementations as well. Note that file transfer is not required for any subset level. Generally, all the XML files would be stored in a central network location. If DNP3 file transfer is supported, then it could be used to read current values from the device or write new configuration parameters to the device.